My name is Linda Seward and the quilt is called Jack of All Seasons. Well, first of all, it's pretty obvious that the quilt's about my dog, Jack, and he's a Border Terrier, and uh, he's seven years old this year. And what I did is I wrote a book a couple of years ago called The Ultimate Guide to Art Quilting. And during the writing of that book, I tested a number of ways of printing on fabric. And I printed photos of Jack in the hope that one day I would make a quilt with all of the resulting pieces. And this year, the uh, Quilter Skill Challenge was to make something about time. And I had made these uh, little journal quilts from the pictures through the seasons. So I thought how perfect it would fit right in with this uh, challenge. So it's called Jack of All Seasons. One of the things I did on all of the blocks is called thread painting. And it's where you use, uh, well, so this was a photo of Jack. And then I used all different color threads to paint it with the thread using my Bernina sewing machine. I have a really lovely Bernina 750 quilters edition. And so, uh, uh, but the thing is that I only thread painted a few of the blocks, this one and this one and that one. And I got the whole quilt put together and my daughters had a look at it and they said, no, Jack is all faded in the other pictures, so you've got to thread paint those as well. So I had to do it with all the beading, uh, working around the beading, which was quite a challenge. So some of the other things I've done, I did a lot of uh, embroidery by hand and machine and machine quilting with the embroidery um, settings on my Bernina. I've been quilting for about 40 years. I began working as a uh, editor for Dover Books in New York City and part of uh, my job was to learn all these different techniques and I learned how to quilt through all the wonderful famous quilters who were writing books for me in New York. And then when I moved to London, I met an Englishman and moved to London and I started working here. I started writing books and my favorite technique that I learned as a needlework editor was quilting. So I have actually been quilting for 43 years now, which is quite a long time. <laughs> I've written 13 books on, on all different quilting techniques. I'm absolutely thrilled to see my quilt here. I wish Jack could see it. Uh, I just love the fact that my friends can come and look at it, children can come and look at it, because especially with all the beading, I think they're attracted to it. But it's just wonderful to see it, and I don't care that I don't win prizes. That's not why I'm entering it. I want people to see my work. And also, I have put this on social media as I was making each block, because uh, Jack actually has a Facebook page, so I was putting that on as well. So. Uh, it's nice for my Facebook friends to see it in real life. I'm thrilled to be part of the global quilting community. It's, I have friends from all over the world. I'm doing uh, quite a few lectures here at the Festival of Quilts. And when I put together the lectures, I contact people from all over the world. So I've got quilts from Australia and all over the States and Japan. And it, it's just it's wonderful and sometimes I get to meet these people when I'm here but even if I don't meet them in person we are friends online and I, I mean I was I did a lecture on modern quilts and I had a question so I asked the head of the modern quilt guild who lives in Los Angeles what's the word for this type of quilting right away I got my answer I mean it's just so wonderful to have that contact with people